what is up guys it's the ghost hacker here and today we are going to be doing some more visual basics tutorial well visual studios tutorial actually and um today i'm going to be showing you how to use multiple forms and how to get them to communicate with each other and before we hop in today i just want to quickly say thank you to jason caswell i was talking to him and he was really nice to me he motivated me to do some more videos and um yeah he was just really nice he said that my last video was good and he's looking forward to seeing more and um, he was just nice so thank you to Jason Caswell if you're watching and um, we're gonna hop in now so we're gonna start off by creating a new project so go up to file click new project now I'm gonna keep the default name because I don't really mind what it is I just click OK now that will start up don't worry about that window that popped up that won't show up for you alright so now we got our first form but we're gonna need a second one so we're going to go up here to project and click add windows form. I'm going to keep the default name because I don't really mind what it is. And then just click OK. Now we're going to go to the first form and I'm going to add a label. So go to the sidebar and type in label. If you guys do not know how to use that yet, go back to my first tutorial and um, you'll see that. Now we're going to go down to the label properties and we're going to change the text to just one. And we're going to change the font size to a a really large size so And then rename the button text to show or show to so you can just click that and go down to here and then highlight the text and let's type in show to okay there we go now we're also gonna actually we're gonna go to the first uh, second form again and add another label and we're gonna rename the label to we're actually just gonna remove the text altogether so once you erase it, you may think it disappeared, but it's still there, don't worry, you can still see it. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Um, you can still see it right there. So don't worry, it's still there. Now we're gonna go to the first form and add a text box. Alright, there we go. And we're gonna double click on the first button, so show two. And then we're gonna type in form two dot show and just put in your brackets. Alright, so that's the code to get it to show. Pretty easy so far, right? Now we're gonna go to the first form again. We're gonna double click on the second button and we're gonna type in form two dot label two dot And that's pretty much it. So now we can start our application and try it. So go up to the start button, just click it. As you will see, it showed up right here. Now we can click the show to button and our second application, our second form, sorry, will show up. And we can just type in whatever we want in this box. So I'm gonna type in, thanks for watching. Then just click set text. And as you can see, it set the text. Now you can move the label so it shows up like kind of more even. Just you know, you can move that how you would like and make this look as nice or as bad as you really want. I know mine looks pretty bad, but I'm just doing a quick tutorial. So um, 
yeah now you can type in any text you want I could just quickly put in my name and that will go there and you can close the form and show it again and just keep sending the text all you want now I know this may seem not very useful but it can be really useful in some like in some spots it could be really useful so um that's pretty much it you guys know how to oops I did not mean to do that you guys know how to please leave a like and leave a comment if you have any problems or anything and also leave a comment on what you would like me to do next so if you want a tutorial on how to use the progress bar let me know or how to use um anything how to use the timer let me know it don't really matter just let me know in the comments and i will be sure to make that video and until next time guys i hope you guys have a great day and bye bye guys